Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. I'm coming with short sharing. Uh, that was mostly because uh, I've been asked to do tutorial for these little embellishments. These are my little stars and I'm making these small cute embellishments here now. Quite a lot of them because I just love them. Uh, that was more kind of like sharing for my Patreons because I am in that mood where I am making a lot of little embellishments. And I shared with them three different sheets with, uh, with that start design uh, because I went through to my... Uh, through to my drawer with paper punches and I found this beautiful paper punch from Artemio. I will link it down below uh, for those who are interested. So I created design for this uh, Artemio paper punch and I shared that with my Patreons and then I make that picture on my Instagram and because it was very well uh, taken and I've been asked to do tutorial, I'm coming here today. I have created one sheet with three <clears throat> different colors, but those designs are similar. Three different colors and there are just four designs. I'm going to show you here. There is this design with number seven, only number seven, because for me it's lucky number. It's taken that way. And there is shine, bright, a little star. And again, it's, it's repeating here and it's repeating here. There is nothing else. Uh, I I just wanted to make just this one. Shine bright little star. I was reading some poem for kids. And <laughs> it was just so cute. So I made this design for myself, for my books. But because I've been asked, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Uh, if you would like to get this one, it's uh, really made for this paper punch. Uh, my printer is printing with that uh, frame around. So I need just take this a little bit shorter to make sure I can slide there my paper punch so that design is make made for this paper punch oops and I just lost it so like this and I did punch a lot of them and now I'm, I'm kind of getting them all together putting those designs together so i'm using this artemio paper punch then i am using some cardboard plain cardboard and because i'm saving all the time everything everything even when i am stitching uh, my journals and that uh, kind of leftover thread uh, after stitching all those signatures so always i'm <laughs> Uh, keeping those leftover threads and I'm using them here. So I do have here from cardboard box punched these beautiful stars. I do have punched those uh, images I did create it on my computer and what I'm doing here, just bear with me, I'm very sorry for this one. My glue just wanted to go asleep I guess. It's midnight already. Yes, it's midnight. Nice. And I'm taking always one star with some wart. I'm going to take this black design. One star with the wart. I'm taking another star from cardboard. And I'm taking the star with the number seven. Then I'm placing the glue on one star and I'm taking my thread and kind of placing that thread on my star here the way I am making uh, kind of like um, hook not hook this one A ring which I will use later for editing this star as a charm now I will use brats or um, those uh, rings 
jump rings, I mean. And I'm placing those two stars together with that thread between. This is a very good quality thread. It's not fragile, so I know it will hold for a long time. And once it's dry nicely, I am using a Distress Ink Ground Espresso. Here I do have glued already. And I'm distressing all these edges. Even my phone is telling me go sleep. <laughs> Did you hear that? That was that twinkle twinkle little star. <laughs> I'm not going yet. I want to make my little stars. So I'm uh, <clears throat> distressing all these edges to make it a little bit more uh, vintage. And I'm using here this liquid glass because uh, I try to make it uh, or not make it I try to use a clear embossing powder but <clears throat> it kind of like <laughs> went milky so I'm not using a clear embossing powder I'm using this uh, liquid glass you can use glossy accent it's actually exactly same and I'm putting a little bit of that liquid glass on my star On one side and I'm placing it dry one it's dry hard then I can flip it over and add this liquid glass on that opposite side where they are I'm using this acetate sheet just to place those stars on it I think these I oh I took them too early. I need to let them dry properly. Otherwise they will get glued together. Like these two shoot. So I need to let them dry over the night. They are ish. So here I do have one side already uh, dry. A little bit so now I'm gonna flip it over put that gloss a uh, glossy it's it is a glossy accent put that liquid glass here on this side I'm gonna spread it and that's all I'm doing here uh, I do have that sheet on buy me a coffee for one pound if you are interested I do have there also sheets with uh, words if you would like to get labels, mini labels with words. So this is what I'm doing here. This is uh, how these <laughs> little stars kind of get uh, created or been created. So this is what I'm doing here. I'm making my small little embellishments. I do love these beautiful kind of like... Uh, rustic farm style I guess it's all kind of those um, styles all together I do love stars so much and with this lucky number seven they're just so cute and then once they will be dry I can take jump ring or I can take this uh, safety pin I don't have here I guess do I oh yeah I do I do have here some other embellishment so if I will take one circle embe embellishment I will place that circle embellishment then I will take one of my stars and with that thread here I will place it to my um safety pin so then I can add it to my journals and I do believe it will be gorgeous embellishment or um, I am the person who will totally add it to my caring <laughs> something like this so this is what I'm creating now and uh, if you are making journals you know that making these small additional things it 
takes time. It takes probably the longest time from all sewing pages and making a cover. Those little embellishments are for hours. But once you are making, you know, a bunch of them, then it, it's going like nicely. I'm watching uh, Father Brown series, those English series. I love that series. He's a very clever man. So I do love that. And it's kind of, you know, it's it's easy craft. So this is what I came to share today. <laughs> it's nothing too hard to create. Uh, again, I do have this design. This one on the buy me a coffee. But uh, I have to warn you, please make sure you know there are just uh, shine, bright, a little star. And it's repeating. It's repeating here. It's repeating here. It's repeating here. So be aware of that. And it's repeating even in that red color. And there are number seven stars. Few of them in all colors. So just make sure you know what is on that sheet. Do not be, uh, you know, uh, do not be sad that there are not any other designs. It's what I wanted to create for my journals, and I wanted to share it with my Patreons. And because I've been asked, so I'm sharing this one as well. You don't have to buy it if you do have some stamps and you do have star paper punch. Just use it. Use your stamps and create some amazing designs. I do believe it will look gorgeous so this is my sharing for today i will link all down below this uh, liquid glass the paper punch and of course the sheet from buy me a coffee if you want to use it or if you want to visit my patreon there is um everything all together there are all three sheets separately me i mean all three colors separately on the sheet there are also the those sheets with uh, with labels with words this is one of these designs so if you want to join us on my patreon i will be very happy to to welcome you there uh, there are also i think these where they are oh i don't have them here do i have them no i don't have them here i will have to find that other sheet <laughs> so this is my sharing for today uh, have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself. Thank you so much for visiting me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. And I will see you soon. Bye.